Hello, and welcome to lesson 55. This is naming decimal numbers. And we've been continuing on with decimal numbers for quite a while now. And um, in this lesson, it's just specifically um, using the right terminology, reading out numbers correctly. So I have a number on the board back there, and I want you to read it out right now. Go ahead, read it out loud. Now, what did you say? Did you say 4.7? Because that is a common thing that stu some students will say, even adults will say, and maybe in certain situations to say 4.7 is right. But literally what you are supposed to be saying is 4 and 7 tenths. Now remember in a typical number you don't want to say the word and. Like 1001, 1001. There's no and in that number, you just say 1001. But when you have a decimal, that commands the word and. So whenever you have a whole number separated by a part of a number, a fraction of a number, a fraction of a whole, you're going to use that decimal point and you're going to use the word and when you read it out loud. So this is four holes, four, and seven and what place is the 7 in? It's in the tenths column. So this number is 4 and 7 tenths. Number 1 on your homework says to use words to describe that number. So you would, re you would actually write every letter out for the word 4 and 7 tenths. Let's look at another number. All right. <clears throat> Once again, there's a decimal in this. And you're going to want to read this just like you did before kind of in three parts. First, read the whole, six. Then the decimal stands for and. And now you're going to read the number on the other side. Last time it was seven. This time it's five. But now, where is it at? So six and five. Now this first column, remember, is the tenths. We've already talked about this one being the hundredths. So what do you think is next? Follow the pattern. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. With a D, T, H, S at the end. So this number, to read it, naming decimal numbers, is six and five thousandths. Okay? And we'll do just one of the ones at the bottom. Very simple. This, I like the ones at the bottom because they give you the words. You need to write out the number. Let's try... Number eight, 569 thousandths. Did you hear an and? Well, in your book it gives you a dash, decimal, dash, dash, dash. There was no and separating. It's just 569 thousandths. So there's no hole. So you need to place a zero there. Then it's 569, 569 thousandths. You always say the word um, for the place value of the last number. You don't say 56 hundredths and ninth. No. 569, and it ends in the thousandths. If you have any questions about naming decimal numbers, using that right vocabulary, then go ahead and talk to me, and I would be glad to help. Thanks.